And I'm very proud of what Hofstra did here today. We came to play in one of the top teams in the countries uh, in a great environment, and they stepped up, they played a great volleyball and represented Hofstra University in the best way possible. So I'm very proud of the student athletes we have. Questions? For the players when you know it's it's 23 23 in game one I, I can't imagine you guys were surprised at the way that you had been playing but did you get a sense of uh you know, how nebraska was reacting across the net um you know we believed like we could compete the whole time we were coming here so we weren't like necessarily surprised at like where we were at in the level but um you know it was exciting to look at, to look at them and see them in a bit of distress distress you know so that was nice yeah <laughs> Uh, it was it was 23-23 in in game one when Nuri, I know you you go up for a swing and, and you got blocked. Did, did you guys feel like you know that was your swing to to really swing the momentum in this match? Uh, definitely. Like uh, I mean, I wanted to take chance. I wanted to take the chance for my team. I wanted to risk, and it was game point really. We were trying to get there, so it didn't really affect anything. Uh, we were just ready for it. We expect Nebraska to get to give us a block, but again, we would get the ball up. And we keep going, so we're not. Coach, what, what were the areas in which you thought you you could have success, or that, that what was your approach to, to this match tonight? And it's again coming here and not being used to play against uh, national ranked teams. I think we surprised a lot by the speed that we have with our players. Someone like Nuria, who is a little shorter than what Nebraska is used to see, but jumps so much. And it, ch it takes them out of the system that they get used to. And our setter did a great job distributing the ball and making sure that we got some one-on-one -on -one situations with Nebraska that were able to keep us and hold us close to the match. Kelsey, I know you have been, this is what, your second appearance in the NCAA tournament? Yeah. Could you tell me a little about how you, um, how this wraps up your, your career at Hofstra and what? what those appearances have meant to you? Um, I mean, so in 2012 when we went to play Florida State, it was a totally different kind of uh, mindset and atmosphere. Like there, we were just so excited to kind of get to the tournament, you know? We were just like excited to get there. But this year, you know, we truly believed that we could, you know, make it past the first round. So it was a totally different um, way, to, way to finish. But like we had a phenomenal season. We did much better like through CAAs, beating Charleston in the final and things like that, you know, it was, it was beyond what, like, you know, I thought it was a dream for me, you know. It was beyond what I thought we could finish on in, in my senior season. So I'm really thankful to, honestly, our coaching staff and the team for the senior year we've had. Emily, what makes Katie Ralston kind of so difficult to, to handle? I mean, how high and how fast her swings are, it makes life much harder for us. Again, not having a chance to see that before and play again, that speed and the height makes life much harder. I thought we were able to adjust a little bit to it, but again, that's the difference between those two points when you haven't seen that before. But the speed and the height of the ball that they can play at. No questions? You guys played exceptionally well at the end of sets, especially when you were up set point or match point. It looked like Nebraska was a little bit more tentative around the net. Was that something you guys were doing or was it something that you may have seen Nebraska do differently towards the end of the set that made it difficult for them to close it out? Um, well, I'd say again, it's just that belief we kind of had, you know, we're down, yeah, but like we're not going to give up, you know, we're going to keep pushing until the, until the whistle's blown at the end of the set, you know. Yeah, when we came here, we have nothing to lose. We wanted to make Hofstra a name that people who here know think of. Hofstra played a very good volleyball, and we represented the Long Island, New York well. And I think when it was at the end, we knew that we had to take the chance. And our players, throughout the whole year, they really fought. And at the end, they were that team that never gave up. And I think that is the difference. And again, we had nothing to lose. We just had something to prove here. Okay, thank you very much.